and the downtown Bryan revitalization project started years ago. And while it's been a lot has been done, there's still a lot more to do, specifically in the north section of downtown near the Bryan Ice House. City Council recently changed the tax increment reinvestment zone so that $250,000 could be used for north downtown. KAG's HD News reporter Jenny Walsh found out what the city's plans are. She joined us now in studio. And Jenny, where is all this money going? Well, Amanda, this money is going to downtown improvements, things like infrastructure and facade, but it's going to take more than 250 k to make the city's vision for north downtown come to life. If you go to downtown Bryan, you probably go to shops and restaurants up and down Main Street. That is until you hit 23rd or 22nd Street. I'd like to see a few more restaurants and some more retail because anytime you bring retail and both of them together, then people will come visit you. The Lemon Wedge set up shop near Main and 23rd four years ago, and manager Rick Ellis says some days the foot traffic to draw in customers isn't there. We like to see it on a daily basis, and sometimes it doesn't happen because people don't come down like on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But that's something the city of Bryan is working to change starting with selling the historic Bryan Ice House that's been sitting vacant for years. We've got a, an agreement that we're working out between us and a local developer, actually a local business owner, who has done similar type of work on older buildings. Fixing up the Ice House is far from the end of the city's plans for the couple bare blocks that face the 100-year-old building. The city owns all of this green space, but they're not making any money on it because there's nothing here to tax. So the idea is to put in more buildings like the one behind me that have either commercial or office space downstairs and apartments upstairs. The excitement is, is that there's, just like the Ice House proposals, we have a lot of interest in people who want to come downtown, Brian. They're looking for space. Space that's there for new businesses to fill in. It helps us pay the bills. Bringing more traffic to all of downtown. Now, the city of Bryan couldn't comment on how much the Ice House is selling for, but they did say it will recoup the city's purchase price and add the building to the tax rolls. Amanda?